Hello, my lovely humans, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I am People Fly Fly Away. If you are brand new, um, people can call me Jacob, or people can call me People Fly Fly Away. I don't know how you pronounce it down, but you guys can figure out a nickname if you want to, if you like me so much. But this is my build and buy object review. This will be going up second. So link down below will be my cast review of the vampire stuff game pack that's what this is for we are in the town of forgotten hollow um i do have a gameplay thing might be coming out tonight might be coming out next not this friday but next friday i feel like part one's gonna come out tonight and then we'll go back into a normal order i'm not sure yet just hold off on uh don't be too excited uh so gameplay will be shown there um this is simply just building by objects i just want to clarify that and thank you for uh clicking on this video so we're going to quickly, um, over here in the corner, no, 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 I would say right here, we're going to quickly build ourselves a room. Having a room is, is a, it's a very nice way to, um, to see all the items. I have a feeling we're going to need more than this, but I don't know. I'm pretty excited for this room. All right. Um, the first thing I do want to look at are the pre-made rooms. Uh, they tend to have a lot of stuff. Like, if you want to get a nice little quick glance at some of the new stuff, you have all these rooms, and they cover from a more resting grounds to the Hall of Devouring to Antique Library, Athens Chamber, Antwick Bed Chamber, Unsense of Darkness, and refined den. The first thing I kind of want to point out here, oh, uh, we kind of are in dusk though. You know, so it, okay, so it does get kind of bright, but you see how it's like even it's a little more darker. Like you would for you would you would think this is We're not gonna look at any of those, um, because we're gonna see them inside uh the thing anyways. We of course will we'll start with the um the wallpaper, and we're gonna start from out here. Actually, you know what, guys, what I'll do is we will um there's new roofing items so i don't want to get rid of okay hold on just so i can show you guys the roofing items we will quickly i should already have this up so uh, i'm not really sure uh, that's all right Alright guys, so we're going to click on this again. Problems are real when you have too much content. Okay, so vampires, they, they do come with quite a bit. This is interesting. Um, very nice colors. I, I always love good roofing objects. I don't really use them much, but I love seeing other people use them. The gar or the werewolf, this is the, oh, I can see it now. It's definitely a werewolf. I do um, enjoy this werewolf, actually. I ooh, I like the grainy stuff. I can't wait to see what they can do with the grainy stuff. That's that's something I'm most in particular looking forward to. But this is something I, I'm looking I was looking forward to as well. So spiky stuff. Um, I'm a I'm a pretty big fan of that. So just to show off some of those items. All right, so we can go back down now, and then we'll kind of work our way to this so we can work our way into building by just gotta give you a heads up if you don't want to stick around for the whole entire time um i fear i figured i'm gonna put chapter times in the description down below as well so like build and buy objects um or build objects buy objects wallpapers i don't know how specific i'm gonna go with that but there might be so just look down there if you're looking for something in particular the dry pine tree now i normally don't go into great like detail of what these look like because my graphics weren't on ultra but they're on ultra now so i'm like i do like this um it fits the aesthetic the aesthetic of what you already see around you so that's that's very nice i love this world so far i did take my own little personal tour and it's pretty it's pretty amazing um the straggly tree these are very cheap by the way i'm not buying any of this it's, oh, I, I, the tree trunk is a tree trunk, dead hollow tree. And we have the bare brim tree, which, um, would be also, it's, it's another interesting one. So, 
That's always nice. I, I, oh, okay. So we, we, uh, which is good on an all, right? That's, that'd be the easiest. And we have some, what is this? Creeping thorns. These are thorns. Very much reminds me of the cast item, um, on their face. So it's like, it, they're, they decide to kill everything that's inside the game, basically, is what they, they did there. I just thought that. We don't want that. Okay, the next thing I would say we could go ahead and do if you want to see. Um, let's go ahead and build ourselves a little fence right out here. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm very much into this big fence thing here. Are there different colors so we can, like, maybe step out of... Oh, yep. Yep, definitely one of my more new favorite items. Um, see this one here? I say we always need more of these. Um, we can never have too many of uh, this type of fence. I'm not going to show you every color palette of this type of... Just, just because, and I'll, I'll try to... I'll, I, ooh, see, I like the brick. The brick's really nice as well. Definitely can lead to some interesting builds. So, and you know, I'm, I'm happy they're taking a step away from modern. It's very modern, and so this makes me really happy that they decide to do this. So that's really nice. All right, we are going to go on to um, the big gate thing that I have seen a lot of, and I can totally understand why now. It looks super duper nice, not with particularly that, but like with like one of these, definitely, you know, looks really nice. I like how it's very royal, enjoying it a lot. The next thing um, we are going to look at are, um, um, okay, I'm just going to, columns, I had to look, and I was kind of looking forward to columns due to, I have a big fascination with them. Personally, Sims 4 columns in particular, there's just something about them that I find fascinating. Um, I like using them quite a bit in my builds, and so anything else I could use, I'm all for it. It's very important to me. And we also have this, uh, where are these called? Um, where are the technical, this, um, you guys saw that, right? What's up? And I like this. I like how we have a different one. Um, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the, the lighter color palettes. So, um, just, I'm looking for myself. But as you can see, they do come in some more darker, grainier colors. Very, very nice. I don't know if I'll be able to show this off or not. We do have two new iron, we do have two new stairwells. So it's quickly, uh, ironically, we have two new stairwells, but no new stairs. So I'm going to pull out the get together stairs right here. Oh, okay. I'll pull them out right here just so we can have a good look see at that. And uh, let's see here. Let's see here. There we go. And um, we of course they're right here so I don't have to all right, so this is the the first iron stairwell. I I I, I say I, I do enjoy this a lot. I like how it's kind of piney, and this one of course reminds me a lot of um the the gate. So another very nice one to go with to accompany your stairwell. Now we're gonna go back to filtering these items for vampires, and um we will. I'm gonna work from the back. Of this house because it's just so close to the front and we will do windows i feel like next add some lights in here um we will put this wall height at three yeah it's just so we can see all the windows and all the core because i don't know how tall this gets all right so the windowed edge um guessing ah that's why i was wondering if i was back I, I like the inside version. Now it's going to just keep flip flopping on me. So we're going to have to buy one. So we can um, go through the colors this way. The colors go back faster the other way. 
I like this. I like this a lot. I really, really do. Uh, it kind of looks like stapled onto the wall. That may be something I'm not, I don't know, all for. But it does come in two different wall heights, so that's nice. And I can definitely see why it's added into this game back. So we're just going to get rid of um, both those windows. Then we have the rectangular windows. And of course, if you are curious to see what that looks like from in here, just two little rectangles. And then we have kind of more like an oval shape window. And then we have two oval shape windows. And I don't know, I can't wait till we get like um, really generation type windows. That's what I'm looking forward to. But to just to add windows, um, I guess just so we can add light to this room. I'm just going to quickly. Just because I feel like we need some light to the room. Quickly um, add windows around. Okay. That should bring in enough light, I feel. Alright. Uh, next we are going to do window seals, which I guess I should not took off the windows. I was going to do window seals. Oh, but it's alright. Most of this stuff. Now, the vines, I'm super looking forward to because not everyone wants to get to work, get together. But now you don't have to if this is what you're wanting. We're going to see what it does look like sized up. Alright, so they're very leafy, which is exactly what it probably says is like some type of vine leaf thing. No doubt about it. I do. I like this one more. Makes. I'm. I. But I feel like this one, which is a combination of both, looks really nice. And you can do some very nice creative builds with it. Very excited to do maybe my own type of speed build with them. Ooh, yes, like castles. Ooh. Like um, Beauty and the Beast castles. Now, don't expect that from me, but go hit up Hattie. Hattie's, um, Hatsy. Sorry, Hatsy. Find the name wrong. And she'll surely make one. And I, I think she should totally use those vines. So, yeah. Recommend her for me. Uh, I like this vine a lot. I like these. These are very, very nice. Um, very, very well done. I like the, the line. It almost looks like you can place something on there. This is something I was kind of really looking forward to. Because it's such, like, classic vampire... I guess. And then, of course, we do have another version of... Hold on. <coughs> the werewolf. And that's very, very um, nice as well. Okay, next we're going to move on to is doors. We're going to go to all doors. And we have one... We're going to do the big gigantic door. Very, very nice. Very sits well with um, what we've seen before and it's both on both ends except that end has door handles interesting I really really do I love um what are they called archways I enjoy archways one I love you right okay back to this archway I really like archways in Sims 4 and so this one will definitely be adding to my account how much I'll use it it's um a 50 50 kind of thing there oh uh, we always need some more classic doors but i do like how they're going with the uh kind of like the windows so that's very nice and then these doors which are more for smaller houses i do like they're very grand and um i feel like that's very very good too i don't know how the world's going with that all right now on over to Wallpapers, a lot of people, including myself, was very much looking forward to wallpapers. So, let's see what we have. So, hold on. oh yes, I was hoping they'd bring back the kind of glistening wallpapers. So, we have this first one. And I'm just gonna, we're just gonna make a little line here. and We're, we're just gonna keep adding on to it, okay. So, this is, it's just different colors. I'm going to see with some new borders. And, of course, I'm going to see with the red. Yes, I like the red. And I, let's 
It's on the inside, people. Still on the inside. Is it on the inside? Is there a difference between those reds? I don't know. I'm curious about the pink. It's very, very light. I guess what I was kind of expecting. Then, of course, we have this one, which I think I like much better than the last one. But, you know, no shame, no judge. Oh, I didn't see the purple in the last one. I like the purple in this one. Um, this is very... I like these because um, in very old Victorian houses or anything like that, you see these a lot. And so, I'm very big, big fan of these. Okay, so this pattern, they decided to use a lot in this pack. And so, I do like it. It's, uh, I, I like it. I do. So, mm, I do. I do. I do. That's what I'm going to come down with. Bricks. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. If you watch any of my renovation videos, you know I'm obsessed with bricks. Like, I'm more obsessed with bricks than people who, who do, who things do with bricks and living are obsessed with bricks. Okay. Bricks are my my favorite things about The Sims 4. I don't know why. I have a strong fascination for him, and I am livid for this. Oh, amazing! This wallpaper going with the whole vinyl. I I, I love it. I love how it's ancient. Gosh, it's my favorite thing about this pack so far is how old they really did take you back. And I feel like that's what we really needed. I'm going with some bricks on the outside. So. All right, now with some four. From wall, from four paper. Um, I'm gonna go with some purple. Uh, probably this purple, and or this purple. No, no, no. You can't really see that. So we're gonna go with this purple. I do like how we do have some um, changeability here, guys. I did have to. Uh, we'll see how long this video actually is when I get done. All right. So because we're not even done. So now, for um, for um, for this, if you're like me, we always need more. I have never, I, with not having our creative tool, uh, let me talk about this and now, now talk about that. I like this. Um, I like this a lot. I like the colors to it. I like how it makes a very very nice pattern. And how it looks like it could go with everything that the pack has to offer. I'm very curious to see what it could go with, with outside the pack. So that's going to be kind of fun to play around with. But with us not having creative style. And I don't think we're going to get creative style. I feel like we're very limited. So I'm always up for new ones of these new things. And this is probably my favorite one out of the two. Um, unless off three. I don't know how much of these are. No, these are tile. So this must be a carpet, and I like this one better. So for the tile, I do enjoy a good tile. And this is a very, very nice tile on top of that. This as well, I like this tile better, but I would also probably use this tile more for my, my kitchen or something. So not really centric on um, actual tile at all. For this, which is stone, I'm in love with stone. Dungeon S stone. Uh huh. Who doesn't want a good dungeon? All right. For the Victorian, oh yes, 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 yes. A lot of people, um, Dale Gracie in particular, really like the basketball flooring, and I, I was not a fan. This one, I like how it doesn't glimmer. Yeah. This is probably my new favorite wood, wood flooring. We'll see what this wood flooring looks like, which um, it kind of reminds me of that wood flooring up here, except that's tile and this is wood. So it seems like the only difference I see in between the two, but it, and it's also a different um, style. This, this actual pattern on it really reminds me of uh, Umbrella Corporation from Resident Evil, if you know what that is, which I figured you guys do. I don't know, I'm being optimistic here. So we are actually going to go with... Um, I would, I would put carpet. We're going to use carpet. And we're going to go with the... Uh, should we go... We'll go with the red. No, no, no. I just don't feel like it... Okay, that that's, that's more suiting, right? That's more suiting to the room. Well, how, how does this look with the room? 
I mean, if you want to go. That reminds me of uh, Saints Row, if you guys know what that is. Okay, we're going to move into the building by objects. I'm sorry, I'm going off like a little, little thing. Um, and we're going to go to full. We're just going to look at them all. Because every room has something, so. I don't know if that makes me excited or really nervous. So, um. Oh, hold on, guys. All right, there's a lot of items. Um, I can already tell you that much because my game almost crashed. Yeah, that was the thing. All right, so it just keeps going and going. Okay. We'll start with the first item, and we'll just kind of make our way around. Oh, do you see the silk? Okay, we'll get there. The shear. The shear is what I was talking about. So we have one new bed. I'm okay with that. Very Victorian. Um, I'm actually going to pull it out just so we can see what the back looks like. It almost looks like um, the dorm beds, like where you push up, but not, obviously. And I, yes, I do enjoy this. And I would see myself even using it in an actual build. Um, I don't know with who in particular, but I could see myself trying to play with it. So, that's, that's pretty exciting. Coffins, I'm super duper excited about. I'm morbid and I want funerals. Okay, people. And I won't lie. I get closer and closer when they start adding these pretty cool freaking coffins. And who doesn't love a good coffin? Alright, I will I will zoom on down as well. So you guys can get the full attire of the coffin because everybody knows. Very, 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 very nice. I like it a lot. This is obviously the most grand coffin you put your grandpa in here. It's very nice, guys. Very, very nice. All right, we have a framed living room chair, and it's very nice. It's almost modern in a way of sense of form, but it's also not modern, so I like it. I like it. Um, we have another chair. I know I keep exiting them out. I normally put them down, but this is more like a formal dining chair, by the way. So yeah, sorry about that. If you guys do want to see them put down, um, I'm just kind of building a room, so you know. So I do like the formal dining chair. I'm gonna keep that formal dining chair and this formal dining chair, and we'll make a formal dining chair room down there. So the thrill of the castle. This makes me super duper excited for what could come with couches in the future. That's one of my new favorite objects out of this whole entire thing. Ooh, but they, they have another toilet. Guys. Alright, so this is uh, more like uh, you put outside, like the stone, but then again, if you're a vampire, I guess your tushy doesn't get hurt, so you can stick it on inside. I'm not a huge fan of these. Let's look at the back. I right, just plain, but it's also, do you see the ruffles? That's great texturizing right there. But you see the pattern, so they, oh, they put ruffles on everything. That's great. That is great work, son. Uh, I, I, I'm not a big fan of this couch, just because I'm not a big fan of the type of couch it is. I'm just, it's just my personal opinion. We do get new countertops. Um, it's the first time in a very long time that we've had new countertops. Um, Sim City Living, City Living came with countertops, but it wasn't like, you know, this. Which almost looks like, I can see it's different, and there's not a lot of color palettes to it, but that's okay. That's, um... I'm not complaining. I am more curious um, about what all these extra side wings look like. So those ones are normal. Then you have, of course, um, you can build a whole Victorian kitchen, which is always nice. And then, of course, you do have these. And I like these much better than the actual countertops. And I could probably see myself using those um, more. And you do, ooh, 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 wine glasses. Okay, guys, wine glasses. Can okay, just say how exciting there is that wine glasses get a spot in one of these? All right, sorry, just a little fanboy in here. Um, this is another. This is a table, as you obviously can see, and I like this table a lot. Um, I like the the edging of it. I like how it's two different colors. It's very nice. Very, very, very nice. I particularly really enjoy this table. It's just a bigger table with that table, but I say vampires have more friends. Okay, so you would you wouldn't want the bigger table. You know what I mean? 
And of course, if you want to see like one of these at that table, that's kind of what it. Oh, stand away my light. Um, that's kind of what it would look like. Is is that? All right, moving on to the one, maybe only shelf out of this whole thing. But we're not even, you know, we're not even moving down to the next section yet. So who knows? It's the Gothic wall shelf. I'm always into new wall shelves. I believe shelves, um, they don't have no meaning. So they can be used in anything. So, pretty exciting. Uh, we do have a new Gothic pedal sink. Oh yes, I like the, like I said, I'm very happy for the Victorian age that we are living in with the Sims. So that's pretty exciting. I was curious about this toilet, and now that I see the toilet, I'm curious about the Sims' interaction with the toilet. How did they flush it? Did they actually pull the handle? Is that an interaction? If so, how have I not seen it yet on Twitter? I don't know. I like the colors. It's very nice. It goes really well with the pack. It's it's very good. But, so far, the most look... The couch, the bed, the coffins, and then the sheer... Oh my god. Guys, guys, this is amazing. This is probably one of my new favorite items in, in Sims. I was literally doing like a build or whatever the other day, and I was like, I want more like of these type of bathtubs instead of using the modern ones, but I want something else other than the crappy uh, curtain. And sure enough, I got it, and it looks, it looks, it looks stellar. We have a new bar. Um, I don't have BB dot move off sound, so I just got put with me, right? Uh, and I. I, they're dark, which I expect. So it's kind of hard to see the texture on it, but it looks really, really nice. And if we zoom in, is it wood, or is it like more like a metal? I think it's wood. I feel like that's more like a wood. Okay. So drop down. We have two. Ooh. Okay. See, I was curious what these were gonna be. Um, actual wall holes or whatever. There seems to be a lot of them. So interesting. The grand piano. I'm super, uh, this is, super duper annoying, alright, place you down, open here up, luckily enough there's not a lot of them, grand piano, yes, all for the grand piano, okay, who's not for the grand piano, next thing I want to see, all these little holes in the walls, it's great, I love, like, okay, I like building nasty apartments, and I need some holes in the walls, so that's one of the main reasons why I think I was looking forward to these. Or the wet spots, which I'm guessing this is, like, the multiple small, oh, they're small holes. So, like, I zoom in. I can kind of see how they're small holes. Kind of. Or the cracks. Um, this is the wrong paper to be showing this on. So, let's just take a step back. Let's go outside. Still kind of wrong thing to be showing on, I guess. Oh no, you 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 get the gist. I like how. Oh guys, you see how like imprints. Oh, that's really cool. And it, you know, it probably reminds me a lot of um. What is that? A large tear. Interesting. 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 A small tear. Can they be alluding to werewolves? I say werewolves. More big holes. I I really like the big holes. There's all quite a bit of them to go around actually, which is which is pretty nice. Um, I, I like the darker ones. It almost looks like blood. Like maybe it's uh, it's like a, or maybe it's like molded kind of thing. No, that's definitely blood, guys. Or plasma, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. I mean, I'm not gonna judge you. And then this is one of those things that I was super duper looking forward to. And they're okay up above. Is the freaking cobwebs. Alright, like I said before, I like building like nasty apartments and you need cobwebs. And I was using um a makeshift version of them that came with the Halloween thing and they're doing uh, okay justice I guess in a way but they weren't phenomenal so this right here if you want some cobwebs I recommend this back I don't know what this is 
Oh, it's like different wall heights and different like, you know, so you can have different layers. You can do so much with that. Oh, more tapestries. Um, yeah, I'm all for more tapestries and more paintings. All for more paintings, more mirrors, more curtains. Guys, they're speaking my name here. All right, so the tapestry. I love the one we have, but this one is beautiful. Oh, I can just see myself doing so many different things, using this, and oh, do you see the plump, oh, wait, the plump button inside someone? No, it just kind of looks like it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Flowers, I love it. Um, Oh, yes, 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 I'm all, I'm all for it. All for the different, you know, like, different, Okay, I'm hitting the wrong button here. Victorian areas, yes. Different vampires. Pretty sure these are probably townies. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, this is for Haunted Hollow in particular. I want to say these are probably the original owners, right? Um, Count Von Strahd. Ancient family portraits. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, I was, I was, I was guessing so. That, that's what that's um what it probably was so just wanted to make sure there we do have a little another mirror i can't ever get more mirrors you know mirrors are amazing i'm using vanities a lot so i don't really use them much but when i do i always want another i can always never have too many and everybody loves the the hanging mirrors and i mean can we not get over the gold mm-hmm gold free okay Sorry, I'm picking up the pace just a little, trying to get through this just a little faster. Um, Alright, our next item is um, the first hanging curtains, which don't, oh, they do go all the way up, but it's alright, we don't need to see them all the way. And they kind of remind me of the bed. So I could see if you could do some interesting things with db.move objects and like meshing the beds together or doing something like that really creative. This curtain I was pretty looking forward to. I remember seeing it in either promotion for it or um, Twitter or something and I like how it's multi-layered. It really suits the pack. It really does um, this justice. Uh, the next item is also can we just get over the fact that it looks like spikes? Okay, it looks like specs. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, moving away from the curtains, which we'll just start one right there. Why not? All right, we are going to these. I don't think we have enough of these, so I'm all for these. I'm pretty sure these are stands. We have different objects to put on them, so we'll just keep them all kind of out and about so we can showcase them. Um, big mansions, this stuff is going to come really, really well in. If you're a big mansion person, like I said, talk to Hattie. Okay. Yep, gargoyles you can put in your house. Um, fairies. Fairies make me super duper excited. Now I see what they can do with vampires in cast mode. I don't... I'm really excited for what they could do in other ways and i'm really looking forward and to like other creatures i'm also really looking forward to this like these statues because i don't think we have enough of them in game anyways and of course you know you have these different creatures and obviously they're not inside a game but it continuity goes really well maybe they were at one point like maybe it's like a throwback and of course, you do have them on their own pistols. That's what those are showcasing, these two right here. Alright, the next thing we are going to take a trip outside for. So just pull on back here. We do have some rugs. And that, of course, is the gravestones. I want some more gravestones. I don't know about you. The graveyards, I, I like the graveyards. Um, so, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm all for it. I'm surprised we didn't need any new dirt. That's really surprising to me. Hold on. Alright, I was like, are they going to kick us out? I sure hope not. Oh, we're getting down to oh, a new bassinet. Ooh, guys. 
Ooh, ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, Blackula. Oh, I can't wait to get there. Oh, guys. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there, Jacob. All right, so the custom Victorian rug. I wonder what that means. It's like a build your own rug. Interesting, Sims. It's like build your own white workshop? Look. You can build your own rug. And like you, you, you grab this piece and you, 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 know, you flip it around. Interesting, Sims. Very, very interesting. All right, we also have this Victorian floor rug, and these are my favorite rugs out of the whole entire thing. So, mm. Mm, so cute, so 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 cute. I guess to get over here. Ah, that 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 that's pretty nice. All right, we also have a new um, hearth, or if you want to call them a fireplace, that's fine. I do too, but you know, we do have a new one, and I love this fireplace. I can't wait to use this. And other things, definitely something that can be very versatile in um, the usage. Okay, another like little bathroom kind of type of thing. We've seen them all before. Now the Chukoko saw. I'm very interested in seeing. So we're going to zoom on up close here. And can we just agree that's that's pretty amazing? And like I said, all these different animals, very very nice. Oh, yes 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 yes. I'm all for that. Yes, going back into my I like building horrible apartments statement back there. And I want to know what this is. The antique book stand. The antique book stand comes complete with the very old musty edition of Victorian homes and gardens. But please don't touch the book or try to turn pages, it would crumble in dust before your eyes. Very, very old. Very, very nice. Alright, the large decorate urn. Very. Someone got burned at the stake and they, they, they burned. They burned a lot. Alright, the floor cabinet. I don't think we have enough of these in the sim, so. The more the merrier. I'm all for it. The new bassinet. Okay. Sims. You listened to everybody's prayers. You gave us towers, and now another bassinet that I love 10, 20, 30 times better than like the base game because it's a base game, and you know we're kind of all just like kind of past that. And Bracula, okay, stop right there, hold your toes. Bracula is literally my favorite item. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the wings, the tail, the oh, guys, 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 Bracula, I love. I love Baracula. Um, we are of course we're gonna show off the check beers. I can't wait. Oh, uh, where 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 is it at? It can't go up on shelves. What? Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, don't I have a table? Can we try a table? Okay. I love this as well, guys. You know me. If you watch enough of my stuff, um, I like using candles a lot. So. Yeah, I was pretty looking forward to those. And this is super cute. Definitely could be seen in more like a vintage. Very interesting that they're going so vintage style. Like they went really modern for a long time. Now they're like really full vintage and I like it. I like it a lot. Um Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm all about this item. Yes, the can yes, yes. And then this is also like another like rolling up version of the other one. Now you guys are talking my real words, and which are these. Guys, guys, I love them. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. I can't, oh, oh, oh guys. My favorite things. They're actually coming, we're actually very close to the end of these items. That's interesting i heard there was a lot of items but guys it's also about um the different things you can do and check out my thing you know i'll promote it in a minute but you know it's okay um more candles yes can we just say candles are amazing they should just keep adding candles all right if you have a, uh, and, uh, i just thought i typed another word did i spell it wrong there we go the Endless Time, oh yes, another Grand, I know I keep saying yes, but Grand Clocks, who doesn't want a Grand Clock? Okay, 
It's like people who are weird don't want a grand clock. Of course you want a grand clock. And um, I'm pretty sure this is the the wardrobe and I'm always I'm always good for more wardrobes and these type of wardrobes very very nice so yeah guys so um I'm just gonna quickly go back there and make sure I do have everything and it does look like except I didn't pull out these two particular items so I did down now you see everything um okay now I've seen both the cast items and the build by object items. I would say, and the world, I have seen the world. This is definitely a purchase I would make. If you like vampires, if you like the age they're selling, I would say go ahead and go pick it up for the cheap $20 that it does cost. But guys, if you like this video, please give me a big fat thumbs up. Um, of course, comment down below what your favorite item was. Was it the build items or was it the buy objects you know whatever it is just comment that down below sorry if you can vlog in the background someone must be home and um of course give me this give me this big fat give me a big fit a big fat thumbs up down below so i know to keep doing these type of uh reviews of these objects and cast items and stuff just give me a big fat thumbs up and of course do subscribe because i do post videos every single day and like I said, you might see me again before the night is over, if you want to tune into the actual gameplay. Or, um, I will see you guys all tomorrow for the very, um, for the renovation video. Which will have all the stuff you see right here, probably somewhere stored inside that house. It gives me super excited for what I'm doing with that too. So, I'll see you guys all, um, either later on tonight or tomorrow. I love you guys, and I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having the best day of your life. And just remember... There's always more Sims to play, so have a good day.